Hey guys, welcome to Destiny Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going through the five important tips for to write a great resume. All right, these tips definitely will help you for any kind of a QA fresher as well as if you have experience in QA, how to write the your next resume, what kind of list items or the title that you should include. Right, I'm gonna give you all the tips as a perspective with Q fresher as well as experienced person. Plus, I have a, in the end a bonus tip for you guys, which will help you to get uh, this resume get selected in most of the HRs. All right, so let's get started. So let's go through the first uh, point, which is basically uh, this is uh, different for the freshers. Uh, let me pull up my marker. Yeah. So if you are a fresher, then things are a little different. If you have a QA experience, things are a little different. Okay. So the tip is basically let me pull up my marker. Okay. So marker is having a little different time, difficult time. Uh, the first tip is basically always include a internship for your fresher resume that you are writing. For example, so suppose you want to get selected for a, uh, suppose TCS is hiring for, hiring for a QA role, fresher, right? So what you need to do is that uh, you need to include a internship which basically match with the QA profile that uh, where there is an opening. Okay. And that thing is very, very important. Uh, so what I have seen is that uh, many times uh, people don't have any experience, right? Even they don't have internship or so, so what you can do is you can do the what is called something called as weekend project. What is weekend project, Pramod? Please tell me, right? A uh, weekend project is nothing but you can go through the watch list or a 30 days challenges of mine. In the end, I have basically prepared a couple of projects. So projects are can be, for example, a postman project where we have a automated and certain API of GitHub repo, right? Uh, for example, we have automated a Selenium project. We have done two, two live project in the Selenium one. So you can do is you can basically do that. And whatever the code that you have written, you can basically put into the GitHub profile and attach that profile links as well as the project information into your resume. This is helpful being lots of my students i have been teaching like more than plus i think 5 6, six plus years now and this uh, this tip works very very well if you don't have internship for especially for the people you need to need to do this okay now another tip that i would like to give you for especially for fresher is avoid telling the internship projects which are not or a different topic as compared to the profile that you are applying so let me tell you one thing uh, so suppose you are applying for a qa profile but what you are telling it's a a project uh, related to some database testing that you have done, but it's not matching completely. If you don't have any project related to the QA, uh, QA, then it's fine. Uh, you can say that. But if you have an internship or a project that you have done related to QA, make sure to highlight first rather than telling the different topic topics uh, internship projects okay another thing is uh interesting thing that i have noticed is that if you can include a programming project programming project can be you have developed a uh for example a doctor management system erm a small system that you have basically done in as a qa pressure you can include that uh the tip for the uh, QA experience people is always include the your experience in a list view what is list view promote tell me uh this is the as a list view for example, here uh, I have told, right, uh, I was a quality lead for the visual regression per se, local binary and this. Uh, uh, I was able to help, uh, I, I helped in implementation of hybrid. So all these are list view, right? So make sure you are including your, whatever the resume that you have, you include your resume in a list view. List view are very, very uh, attractive for the HRs to get noticed, okay? Uh, your work you have to highlight and include the AIDA principle that I have discussed many time over the uh, different videos and I will link a video in the description basically how you can apply AIDA which is with I think attention interest and other thing that I forgot but you can include that principle while writing your resume it's a way of writing resume okay so that was first one uh, tip number one if you're liking this video please make sure you subscribe and like this video because this will help our channel to grow right let's come to the top Topic num tip number two no long description cv or resume if you don't have more than five years experience right don't write two page resume this is really really important if you see my resume i have nearly around nine years of experience and uh, my resume is just one page only three last three companies that's it that's it no other fluffiness okay so that's my tip for you guys no description or no heavy heavy uh, uh, descriptions in the resume 
okay create your resume at the nova resume so you will say uh, you will ask me promote how do i create this kind of a awesome looking uh, resume you can basically go to this site which is called as nova resume i extensively use it's a free app free app if you want some paid feature then it is paid but most of the time you will be able to create um, a free version of it this is a free version awesome uh, check out my resume you can check out it if you have anything that you would like to uh, basically uh, add to this resume or you want to highlight let me know in the comment i'll be happy to append and we can discuss more about it okay all right if you have any inputs basically i mean to say tip number three guys uh, this is basically related to the keywords and description this is uh, this exactly the things which people are not talking about trust me this is the thing people are not talking about and i'm telling you i'm giving you this information for free please respect the information that you need to include keywords and description in a list based uh, whatever whenever you're writing for example look at this i he was a software engineer in this is a couple of information that i have put in for somewhere five 1.5 year experience in field of software testing designed automation test cases qa best practices implemented qx the all the things if you see are basically automation software testing relation designing uh, test planning all the keywords selenium java that is included are this they will help you to get selected this is really important make sure you watch till the end because i'm giving very very important information right uh, like this resume if you see it's perfectly list based keyword based description less description based a key uh, resume that is prepared for a certain certified medical assistant profile this is just for example you can see the examples on a nova resume also so this is another feature of nova resume uh, here you can see cv templates as well as review resume templates and you can go through them uh, they are free you can go through a couple of them and there, uh, there are other uh, cover letter and other resources also which will help you to uh, basically write a great resume QA resume okay tip number four which is basically remember the seven second rule what is this promote seven second rule basically says that recruit recruiters or any hr basically skim your resume or skim basically means they don't read your resume this is a myth they won't read any resume uh, to be honest uh, i have basically taken more than 300 plus interviews i think more than that and i have gone through thousands of resume to, to be honest and i always skim through it skim basically means going through the more important important things rather than going through the whole or reading whole uh, particle articles or a description okay so they only skim only for a seven second or right now that this data is 2022 uh, 20 basically now it's 2022 so that it's i think that uh seven it's nearly around three or four second rule maximum so your resume has to be accurate with the keywords and description what they are looking for if batch you are getting selected if no you are out so make sure you pay attention to this okay you can read uh, all the information here in this article this mind map is already available in the description in sd.live slash notes you can go to the mind map tab download the pdf all the links will be working there let's jump to the last one which is the tip number five which says that experience stack stack and numbers uh important thing that you need to highlight is always uh, the first thing don't forget you need to include one thing very important so what is your total experience okay and uh, this is where people basically make mistake if you see the first line basically says that i have eight plus years of experience this is an old resume to be honest so eight years of experience so it's basically and i have highlighted and underscored it also right so pay attention to the number of experience uh, you are giving if you are a fresher you can say that i have done uh, an internship six months internship three months internship or i have done you can say that xp uh, i am uh, I have, you can say that I am basically learning or I have done internship, I have done weekend projects, I have done some projects over the internet and here are the projects, you can say that. Always talk about numbers that I have told you many, many times. You can say uh, here if you see a couple of times I have included numbers like 3000 plus test cases I was running daily and I was handling. So this is very, very eye catchy as well as uh, whenever I sc uh, skimming this uh, resume, right, I'll immediately go, oh, this person have basically done something, right? So that's the important point. Now comes the bonus tip, which is read more details. Uh, bonus tip is basically the important example for you guys, right? Uh, so let me load this. Uh, 
all right so these are the examples i would highly recommend uh, these are the old the articles you will see related to the cover letter and resume and there are a couple of important examples of a different fields also you can take help how to write a proper list view description and all the things from this this is a bonus tip for you guys right and uh, let me know if you are able to create an awesome resume right which will help you to grow all right thanks a lot for watching guys this video i hope this is helpful please make sure to give it a like and subscribe and comment down if you have any issue uh i'll see you in the next video bye